movie. Um, Pal Demick, what was the main goal of that? Because was the well, I didn't even know Kenny went and uh, apparently had cut a deal for some show, and then he decided that it, you know let's just we'll do it with Spenny, and they brought me in very late in the game. Um, you know, so it was just it was one of those sort of I just showed up and what's you know what's going to happen. Let's see what can we can do. What we can turn all I knew was all I knew was that you know we were going to be in isolation that that it was during COVID, and so I glammed onto that. You know, we're doing a COVID special. I'm going to do. I'm going to have my you know, my stick, my distancing stick. I'm going to know uh, all the things about COVID, what you're supposed to do, what, what not to do. And then I just rolled with whatever punches that there were. And, um, you know, was there a bigger plan for that? Because the way the trailer, I guess, is marketed, it seems it seems like it was going to be a couple episodes, but it was always supposed to be one episode. Always a single episode. Oh, really? That I'm aware of. Oh, man, that's really I, I don't know. To me, it seemed like there was a, a part where like you guys went to talk to a therapist. Right. But that never ended up making the show. Or was it just footage that was not used? Maybe. Um, it might be another trailer. I don't know where you would have seen it for something else that we were uh, trying to get going. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. It was a therapist uh, from Intervention. Man, I don't know. I, I, okay. I don't have that. Um, yeah, the, the, the weird thing to me is like the show seems to have a popularity and still has an audience. Uh, I mean, to this day, I think it has probably like over a billion views if you could calculate all the times it got taken down and, you know, got removed from certain countries so what's the biggest challenge or hurdle bringing it to if, if you were to come back and do a, any show in general i guess what's the uh, biggest hurdle coming back well it's just for anybody uh, famous or not famous or with the track record it's hard to get a tv show on the air it's just very hard uh for example everyone goes netflix why aren't you guys on netflix well you know netflix when it first started maybe but now they're too corporate they're they've become too big yeah. And, you know, this is what happens with film festivals and stuff like that. It's not that they become too big. They've attracted now the biggest stars in, in the U.S., you know, uh, who want to do, you know, the crown or you know, all over the world, not just the. And so now you're competing against that. Um, it's just hard. It's just a hard business. It's, uh, you know, and Kenny thinks Kenny thinks that uh, executives don't really know how how big we are. And I don't know if that's true or not true. Um, I would never say that because I don't know, but he's pretty good at saying stuff that, you know, and it may be true. Sure. And, uh, you know, and there's always the, 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 you know, the me too movement cancel culture thing. Do we, do we fit into that? I, I think we do perfectly, but I, I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things you can't, they never give you an honest answer. If someone passes on a show, um, that's kind of you unfortunate. Know. Cause you, then you have this, like, you know, un, you're not fulfilled with, or maybe well, they tell know. you something, but I, you, you know, know, it's it not the truth, right? Well, you don't. Yeah. I mean, every network has agendas, you know, and, uh, and, and you have to hit the right agenda at the right time. Right. So, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, and I, and I do think most people, your average Joe or whatever, they have pretty naive, pretty much about show business, even with all of the movies about show business and everything. Uh, people, when I talk to them in touring, they don't even understand like how tours work and how you make money touring, <laughs> right? And, you know what it's all about. And, or they always and, tell you to do a Kickstarter or Patreon or something, right? That's yeah, a number. lot of that. And 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 we we tried that with Jamie. I don't know if you remember Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. and he only got like 10k from 40 something, or something like. That. And that was for this, you know, KVS. So I that put a sort of sour taste in my mouth about about that. But I'll. If there's a if there's money to be made with it, I'm not against doing it again. But it made me think if we couldn't, and then I would see people getting two hundred thousand dollars who I'd never heard of doing <laughs> yeah. was what. So I I don't know what they were doing that we weren't doing. I to me it seemed like if we ask for a reasonable amount of money, we should be able to get it based on our following and track our record. Yeah, you know. But I, I don't know. Maybe we didn't. We let Jamie do it. We didn't put enough into it. I'm not sure. But. Um, yeah, that's easy. I mean, I still get people saying to you, you guys should do another season. Like <laughs> it's so easy it. to say that from the outside, not well, the amount like, of effort. I think we thought about that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we man, don't like you easy money. On, <laughs> yeah, you, you should be on Netflix. There's an idea. Okay, good. You know, some stoner should, I breathe? should I breathe in and out? Is that the next thing you're going to tell me? You know, like, come on. <laughs> right. 
Right. But you have to be nice. Well, I don't have to be nice because it's part of my shtick. <laughs> right. I mean, they, ultimately, they're just a really like a big fan. Like they just want to see you. I mean, no, and well. that's the other yeah. thing, of course. But I'm, we're talking about the, the the naivety about how difficult the business is to navigate and how tricky it is to monetize. You know, uh, that's it. And and you know, part of the social media ethos is is everybody's got a platform and an opinion now. Right? Of course, of and course. There, there needs to be very little uh, study or very little uh, knowledge or very little research. They just people bloviate their opinions and I do too, but you know, so it's a, it's a cacophony of fucking shit. Basically and you got to sort of find your way through it. And you know, I'm, I'm always trying, I'll give myself that. Yeah, you have to. You have to kind of keep. I mean, in this space, at least. Well, I don't have to. I could. I could go dig ditches and do something else for a living. <laughs> I, and, yeah, that's I gonna could, be a rough but, one. Yeah, I mean, you know, but uh, I like doing this, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna. I won't. I mean, it's it's not even like it's a choice, right? If you can't earn money doing something, you have to do something else. So far, I've been lucky, and and uh, uh, I'll keep I'll keep doing it until such a time that there's no profit in it, and then I won't be able to do it anymore. At least I'll always play guitar. I'll always be yeah, funny. You have something that you love to do. That's kind of big. yeah. 